Yeah, hey, Wilson. Hey, Greg. Hey, what's, uh, what's got you down? Did you lose the doll that you got in the Chocolate Cheerios box again? It is not a doll. It's an action figure. And no, I got him right here in my pocket. Okay, all right. So what is it then? What, what's wrong? Well, I mean, here's the problem. We're supposed to teach the kids about God the Father this week. You know, and, and he's so amazing, I'm really afraid we're not going to be able to, to get across how great he really is and get the kids to grasp it, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I, that, that's a valid concern, Greg. Hmm. I, I know, I know. Let's act out some of the characteristics of God. You're crazy, man. There's no way we can act like God. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang, hang in there just a minute. Um, listen, I'll be God, and you be Greg. Oh, uh, of course. You get to be God. I'm just little old Greg, an extra in the movie. Hey, Wilson, where did you go? Right here, Greg. God is omnipresent. Omni, omnipresent? Oh, what does that mean? Is, there, is, is God going to give me like an Amish present? No, Greg. Omni means all. God is all present. He is everywhere, all the time. Oh, huh. so like say if we went to Mount Rushmore. Would he be there? He sure would. Woohoo! Oh. Well, okay. Well then, how about if we went to a baseball game? Would he be there? He'd be there too. Oh man, what a game! Uh, well, actually, I already know who wins this one, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. I'm getting confused. How about how about this? How about if we were at the bottom of the ocean? Great. I'm everywhere. Okay, I get it. God is everywhere. Very good. You know what else God is? What? God is omniscient. That means he knows everything. Everything? All right, let's test him. All right, where'd you go, Wilson? I'm still right here. Oh, I wish you would stop that. All right, I have an idea. This is Jeffrey. Welcome to Jeopardy! I am Alex Trebek. God, wherever you are, please choose your category. Okay, I'll take things that Greg doesn't know for a million dollars. Wait, what? That's not a category. You put that in, did you? You put... Yeah, you probably did. Okay, alright. Things Greg doesn't know for a million dollars. Here's the answer. 57 million... 909,227 kilometers. God, what is the orbital distance of the planet Mercury? How am I supposed to know? I mean, you're probably right. Well, of course I'm right. I know everything. All right, uh, let's try something more fun. Okay, God, who wins this game? Oh, that's easy. The Cardinals, bottom of the ninth. Two guys out, guy on first base, Matt Carpenter hits a two-run home run. Game over. Well, I guess there's no point sticking around for this game. Let's go try something else. How about one last thing? What was that for, Wilson? That's for the stupid thing you're going to do in my garage in three years. Well, what am I going to do? Well, I can't tell you that, but it's really, really stupid. Man, I didn't even do anything on getting smacked around. Well, I guess that's why God didn't make us all-knowing. Because if he did, I'd be smacking you around all the time. Uh, this isn't working out for me, Wilson. Um, what else is God like? God is omnipotent. That means he is all-powerful. He has power over everything. He can create anything, and he can destroy anything. Wow, you really are powerful. This doesn't even come close to how powerful God is. Oh, I love to hear the song of creation. The wind and the rhythm of the rain. Oh, the thunder, it speaks of your power. But there's something in the sound of the saints. I've been washed in the roar of the ocean Found peace in the echoes of a cave In the trees of the field they clap their hands But there's something in the sound of the sea Oh man, that's great! What else? 
Well, Greg, let's talk about one last thing. You know, we could never completely describe all of God's characteristics, but there's one more thing that kids really need to understand. God is holy. Holy? Wait, God is holy like as in Swiss cheese? No, no, no. No, God is holy. That means he's pure. He's righteous. There's not, a, not an ounce of evil or sin within him. In fact, did you know that whenever God appeared on earth, that that place was left holy just because he was there? And did you know that when Moses went up on the mountain to get the Ten Commandments, when he came down, his face was shining and radiant? Shining as in like his face was a glow stick? No, no, no. Brighter than a glow stick. You know, Moses, just by being in the presence of God, a little bit of God's holiness was resting on him. And it was making his face shine so brightly that it scared the people. He had to wear a veil every time he talked to them. Wow. I think we did a really good job describing God's characteristics, right? Wilson, what do you think? Wilson? Wilson? Come on, Wilson, man, where are you? Ouch! What was that for, man? Oh, nothing, really. I just wanted to smack your elbow one more time before we ended the video. You think you're safe just because you're invisible? You got another thing coming, man. Put your hat back on so I know where you're at. Come on, Everybody come on. Come on, 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 come on. Come